So I've ditched my notational velocity and moved completely to Vim, and that's it's basically just because uh, everything I was doing in notational velocity I can do in Vim uh, even more quickly usually and with more customization. So if I open up my Vim, if I wanted to get to a file like I do in notational velocity, um, like an existing file, I can have a map that goes directly to my notes folder. You know, all I have to do is type forward slash and I mean I can get to the file even more quickly than in notational velocity because usually when you start typing in the bar in notational velocity it's going to pull up uh, search results from all of the files so instead of just titles so if I was trying to get to a specific note sometimes it can take take even longer typing in enough to match that that notes title so this is even faster for me if I did want to search through all of the uh, all of the uh, contents of the notes instead of just the titles. Um, you can use VimGrep or you can use ACK. I use ACK. Um, it's a program called ACK. And I could type it in like this, but I actually uh, have made an, another map, a command, where all I have to do is type in my search function here. So I just hit like liter zero, which is what I mapped it to and it automatically puts this command in down here and then say I forgot what CD59 is I can type that in and here it is in the files it automatically puts my cursor on CD59 here so I mean that's it's even nicer than the search function in notational velocity because I can include rejects and I can actually go straight to uh, the cursor position just with you know a few keys. So um, I guess while I'm here, I'll show you a couple more features of the way I've been taking notes. Um, so like in notational velocity, to add a new note, you can like hit Command L and delete out the bar and type something in and hit Enter. Well the equivalent of doing that here would be a note command I've mapped so that was a, another quick map there and then I can just type in whatever the title is and it'll create that note then I've modified the snippets plugin to go ahead and automatically put in the title of the text uh, file it made so all I have to do is type in the instructor's name and I'm there so for me this is, I mean these maps are running even quicker than notational velocity was. And while I'm here, um, I wanted to also show you with my note taking system an easy way to put images into your markdown syntax. Oops. Um, if you uh, use the grab.app on Mac, so like the shift command 4, I can grab this sunset right here and then uh, in my Vim, I just open up a bash command, I mean a bash line here, and I can move that file to my notes image folder. Let's call it sunset. Oops, oops, I use CD instead of move. Call it sunset. And I can use the snippets plugin again to make this and use file autocompletion to finish that and I mean that's done so that's like as far as grabbing something out of a PowerPoint or grabbing something out of a syllabus PDF or something and putting it into your notes that's pretty quick I can generally do that while a professor's talking and and still keep up with what he's saying so so that's why I ditched notational velocity. Um, plus, you know, Vim can do a lot of things that other editors can't, and you can pretty much adapt it to do whatever you want. I made another post on how I've converted it into sort of a similar to Write Room, where uh, with you know another easy map, I can get into kind of a Write Room mode if you like that sort of thing. 
but really it's nice because of the customization anybody can do pretty much anything they want to with it so so yeah just use it use vim and that's it